Hi everybody and welcome back. Today's discussion will be a short one and it will be about Michael Monkey Vaughan who is still missing. At first glance it appears little Michael Vaughan 5 is an average happy child and he even earned himself the lovable nickname Monkey. That was until on the 27th of July he disappeared from the small town of Fruitland, Idaho. Fruitland only has 5,400 residents with only 12 police officers on its force. However, within hours of Michael going missing, a dozen local agencies, the FBI, state and county police descended upon Fruitland in order to search for the missing child. They searched over 3,000 acres of land, hundreds of residences, and 29 miles of the Snake River. They drained canals and rechecked homes and backyards. Michael was last seen wearing a light blue Minecraft t-shirt and black boxer briefs with lime green stitching. He was last spotted in the area of Southwest 8th Street, and Southwest 9th Street and Cornwall Way. And if you look on the map, you'll see it makes a nice triangle. However, there are other publications who take sightings of him right up to Washington Way or Washington Avenue, which is approximately a mile away from his home. Police have been combing through neighborhood security videos and have now come across two vehicles which were in the area at the time. The one is a 2016 to 2020 white Honda Pilot seen at approximately 647 and the other one is a 2010 to 2011 blue Dodge Avenger which was seen passing at 656 and leaving the area by turning right onto South Whitley Drive. Police are asking for the public's assistance in identifying these vehicles and their drivers. Police are also saying that these drivers are not suspects, but could be witnesses whose observations may lead to Michael's recovery. Police said that talking to these drivers will certainly help with narrowing down the timeline of Michael's disappearance. Police are also seeking the assistance of a dark-haired man with facial hair who was seen jogging on the sidewalk of Southwest 8th Street near the Crestview Park at approximately 6.15 p.m. He was wearing dark-colored shorts and no shirt. Another person who could help is also a man with dark hair who was wearing a white t-shirt and black shorts. He was seen walking off Southwest 8th Street past the splash pads towards the drainage behind the neighborhoods. Again, police do not think that any of these people are suspects, but again feel that they can help with narrowing down the timeline. Having had a look at the map, I find it surprising to see that the area in which Michael could have disappeared spanned at least one mile, like I said before, from Southwest 9th until right up to Washington. Cornwall, Southwest 8th and 9th are all fairly close together, yet Washington is approximately a mile away. Now, anyone with information should contact the Fruitland Police Department at 208-642-6006, extension 0, or contact the department through their tip line at findmichael at fruitland.org. The reward for Michael's safe return has now increased to $40,000. Okay, folks, so that is it. At some point, we will discuss other missing children, some of them who had been missing for many, many years. And my technical assistant 
is currently working on a very, very interesting case which I happened upon while looking at missing children in Idaho. So as soon as she's done with the research, we will bring you that case as well. Okay, my friends, thank you for being here. Thank you for your support. And until we meet again on the next video, please take good care of yourselves. Bye.